described as one of Kate Bush's most emotional videos and ballads of all time. This woman's work is a song I want to bring to you because I feel it's very reflective of modern times where now men who are in this situation aren't afraid to express their feelings or emotions about being in the position that I'm going to talk about. What inspired this beautiful song? It's about being forced to confront an unexpected crisis during childbirth, written by the, from the male partner's point of view. Kate Bush, who wrote the song, said it was written for John Hughes's film, She's Having a Baby. And on my research, She's Having a Baby, was an American romantic comedy in 1988, a film directed by John Hughes, starring Kevin Bacon and Elizabeth McGovern. It tells the story of a young newlywed couple who try to cope with married life and their pe parents' expectations. Now back to the song itself. Now really light comedy about this young guy who gets married very much a kid. His wife is pregnant and it's all right until they get to the hospital and the baby's in the breech position. This is me giving you research from the film's point of view and what Kate had said. It's that sequence I have to write the song about and it was really very moving. Him in the waiting room having flashbacks of his wife and him going for walks. It's exploring his sadness and guilt. Suddenly it's the point where he has to grow up He's been such an idiot up until this point. Now the song wrote for that film, She's Having a Baby. And their unborn child are in, who's in danger because of the breach position it's in. The song plays a montage of sequences of flashbacks in the video, showing the couple in happier times, along with shots of him waiting for news of the baby's condition. And Bush wrote that song from a man's viewpoint and matching the words to the visuals which had been sent to her, the visuals taken from the film. This particular video you're about to see was directed by Kate Bush herself and it starts with Bush in a black room playing the starting notes on a piano, as you'll see. Then a distraught man played by Blackadder star, paces in the waiting room of a hospital called Tim McInerney. In it's revealed through flashbacks that his wife, played by Bush, has collapsed while they were having dinner. He's seen carrying her to the car, racing to the hospital. The wife gets wheeled away and he runs behind her. Whilst watching, the husband is worried with fear and imagines his wife in happier times, such as kissing him in the rain, and then he imagines the nurse coming to tell him she has died. And then the nurse disturbs him in the video and tells him about his wife's condition, though the outcome in the video is unknown. How did it perform in the charts? Well, that was the surprise. When I did my research, the song was released in 89, picked at number 25 only in the UK. And in 2005, the song peaked at number three in the UK official download chart after being featured in Tasman Outwaite's drama, Walk Away and I Stumble. But sadly, as we all know, downloads had yet at that time and that period to be included in the main chart. So it really didn't qualify. After being featured in the Ricky Jervis comedy, comedy extras, the song climbed back into the charts again in 2008. And again to 63 after being performed by a contestant on Britain's Got Talent a couple of years later in 2012. The most vocalised version of, of this song has been covered by a performer called Maxwell that people say is the best cover version of this song. Do check out Maxwell, this woman's work. Equally, he puts in 
such a poignant delivery it almost leaves you speechless why has this song got a such profound effect take a listen let's hear and i'll just give you a very brief synopsis afterwards but i brought this particular song onto my channel because it left me with bated breath when i had first heard it i thought god this must be kate's most reflective and most emotionally written ballad ever in my viewpoint you can disagree take a listen and i'll come back with the summary You almost have to take a breath after that video. It's so emotionally charged with emotion and the delivery by Kate is at its purest. From all the ballads I've heard of Kate Bush, I feel it's the most crystalline delivery. And what I mean by that is that it truly, truly goes deep into your soul and ignites that 
emotional turmoil we all hope we never have to face if we're with a partner planning children and the pregnancy occurs and we're waiting for the birth but then something like that happens the baby's in the breech position and all concern is about the baby will it won't it be delivered successfully will it survive the turmoil and then to see it from a man's perspective and the turmoil we as men go through for me it turned the tables on a lot of ballads that people were writing at the time before and since where we are now thank god in 2024 living in a culture where more ballads from a man's perspective are taken into account because we too suffer as much as the woman in that position and it was so delicately written and then performed by Kate that it truly truly lives in my heart I just feel it's a very profound and it's probably Emo the most emotionally charged for those reasons of Kate Bush's work of ballads. Now let's get to the actual meaning and it's very short and sweet. This woman's work, the poignant song you've heard of emotional turmoil, experienced by a man, as you've seen, who anxiously waits outside that delivery room while his partner is in labor the song describes that intense feeling of helplessness fear and regret that the man experiences while waiting for his child to be born when i look at the lyrics the verses in the chorus serve as a conversation really between the man and his partner with the chorus conveying the woman's thoughts the woman expresses regret over the things that were left unsaid and undone in their relationship and then when you look at the lyrics and you analyze them, it's about the man's struggles coming to terms with the fact that he cannot control the situation. Now, the refrain in the lyrics, make it go away, it says, is a plea from both the man and the woman for the pain and stress to end. But ultimately, they must confront their feelings and strive to move forward. The song is poignant because it's a meditation of the intense emotions that arise during a major life transition and the importance of communication and honesty in relationships. Thank you for listening.